Welcome to Basic Computer Training Course Week 1, Part 2 for Vista and Windows 7 users. So let's get going. What we want to talk about is the system tray and just got to get rid of this here. Uh, one hour postponed. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, what we want to do is the system tray. So what I want to show you is, let's go down here. Right click on it and toolbars. You've got your different toolbars that you can look at and you can add. Quick launch is these things over here and you can always add to your quick launch. You can see I've got um, Firefox, which is the same as Internet Explorer, gets you on the web or on the internet. Uh, same with Google Chrome. Windows Media Player, Google Chrome is another browser which we'll be talking about next week. So really, if you notice this thing dropping down and hiding, we discussed how to do that. And I'm going to show you how to do it. I'll go to proper, right click properties and I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to click apply. Okay, let's start from scratch. Let's start the way everybody else's computer probably looks. This bar here is an essential bar. It's your start bar. You've got your quick launch if you want it. There's Internet Explorer, which will take me onto the internet. And over here, you've got all the different toys. You've got your monitor you can check out, your uh, different current power, your antivirus. So there's all different things over here. You just hold, hold it over and it'll tell you what it is. And your clock, okay? So And you can change the clock. What I want to show you is how to get rid of this bar when you don't need it. So when you're up in here, why have that bar take up space? Click Properties, and we're going to go over here, right-click on there. I'll do that again. Right-click, Properties, and I'm going to put in here Auto Hide and check it. Click Apply, and you'll see what happens. Is it There, the bar drops down. If you want it to stay up while you, for a while, you just left click right there and it'll stay. And that's how you control that bar. If you want to do some more things to it, you click properties and you can go into your start menu and you can change different things in your start menu. Remember, nothing happens until you click apply. So you can play around and check all these different things, see what's in there, if there's anything that interests you, something you want, something you want to add for a while, you can add it, and then you can have uh, lots of fun with it. So enjoy it, and have a great day. Thank you.